Hi friends, I love you so much. This is TNC TV official from where you can get knowledge of English. Have you ever asked yourself if you don't speak English fluently? I'm telling you here to TNC TV official, it is a sure deal. You can speak English within the shortest time. Please subscribe. After subscribing, you watch the video. After watching the video, you are going to leave a comment and a like. Friends, here at TNC TV official, you promote English fluency. You have seen that when you speak, we don't tolerate. It means that you are there to respect the rules of the language. You know, every language has the rules that should be respected. Today, let me teach you the lesson that is called if cross. You know if cross? If cross, it's a lesson that can support you to be fluent. You can speak English freely because you understand very well if cross. In English, you have Two sentences that should be linked. Those sentences sometimes, the first sentence and the second one are complementary. Dear friends, if cross has two, has three types. Those types I need today, you understand them. You know the way you are going to use, you, you are going to apply if cross while speaking or while constructing the sentences. Type number one, it is when present in the first sentence, in the second sentence is going to be future, future tense. Example, when you say, if I have money, you see have is in the present, I will buy a car. You, you see, will buy a car, will buy a car. This is the future. You start by present, and you end by future. If I have money, I will buy a car. This is type number one of if cross. If cross num type number two, it's where past in the first sentence, in the second one, we are going to apply conditional present. Let me show you. If I had money, I should buy a car. If I had money, had you see is a past, I should buy a car. Should buy is a conditional. It means that you start by a past, past tense, and you end by conditional present. If cross type number three, number last, it's where past perfect, you start by past perfect in the first sentence, and you end by conditional past. Here, you can say, if I had had money, I should have bought a car. You see, we start by past perfect and you end by conditional past. I think that by here, before ending, before closing my video, you remember 12 tenses. When you don't know 12 tenses, it is not easy for you to know if cross. When you don't know six moods of speaking, you cannot understand if cross. Let me last, before lasting, let me repeat. Type number one. If I have a car, if I have money, I will buy a car. Type number two. If I had money, I, sh I should buy a car. Type number three, number last. If I had had money, I should have bought a car. Dear friends, I believe if it is not the first time or it is the first time you understand that in English, you have to know if cross type one, type two, type three. So if we comment, you can say that type number one, the action is possible. Is it still possible? Can it be possible? Type number two, we don't have hope that uh, the action can be done. Type number three, really, we don't have hope that uh, the action can be done because it is completely finished. Dear friends, I love you so much. You keep watching our videos. You continue to watch our videos. Uh, in these days, you are trying to explain, huh? to explain more, more, 
about the lessons, all of the lessons of English here to TNC TV official, you are going to understand. This is the platform of the people who wanted to know English. If you want to practice English, you keep watching our videos. I love you. See you next time with another lesson. Bye-bye.